Hi there guys, um, Jack here from Pure Creative Designs and in this tutorial we're going to be making this. Right, so that's the intro, pretty sick I reckon. Um, so it's the breaking effect, breaking glass effect if you want to call it that. So it's going to start in um, After Effects and I'm just going to go to Composition and New Composition. And I'm going to make this around 10 seconds long. Doesn't have to be that much, just using the HD preset, 720. Um, 30 seconds, um, well, keyframe, whatever, you know. Right, so I'm just going to get this background effect like I did. It's really simple, I use it in quite a lot. So, layer new, solid. I'm going to choose the colour blue, so I'm using the 000 CFF. If you want to type that in, it's the same colour as what I'm using. Um, I'm just going to choose make comp size, click OK. And then I'm going to go to the um, rectangle tool, click and hold down. I'm going to choose the ellipse tool. Um, with this, I'm going to um, make this mask bigger, like that. Well, mask in a circle, whatever. Then I'm going to go to the mask, and I'm going to click down, and I'm going to choose the feather, and I'm just going to fade it out quite a bit, probably to about that. If anyone you want to get that, about about four four nineteen. Yeah. So I'm just going to lock it after that. I'm just going to choose up and lock. So now we have this background, really cool background. So we want to add the text. The text is obviously the crucial part. If you choose the text tool, I'm using the font 28 days later. You can get that from the link below this video in the description. So I'm just going to add um, some text and I'm just going to choose it breaking um, text like I did on the, um, the, you know, the one you just saw before. I'm just gonna. You can center it, whatever. Just doesn't really matter. And um, I'm just gonna choose Control D to make this bigger. Or you can on it. You can um, go up to Edit and Duplicate. So Control D, and it'll say it'll say Breaking Text 2 or your name. You'd probably want it as your YouTube name or whatever you want to use this um, intro for. So once you've got that, we want to get obviously to the part where it breaks up. So I'm just, there, this little eye is here on the breaking text number one, the first one that we made. I'm just going to get rid of that. So we have the duplicated layer. And over to the effects and presets over here. I'm just going to choose that. If yours isn't the same layout as mine, um, you can go up to, um, but I'll show you in a second, this is um, the presets of loaded. Um, you can go to the window, work area, and make sure it's on the standard, and you can reset the standard all the way to normal, so you can have this over here. In the search bar, I'm going to type in pics, well, you can type in pixel, but if you just type in the first few, it's this CC pixel poly, and it should be there, um, CS4, I know it's on CS3, um, it's probably on the new CS5, but make, that will be there, otherwise, if not, you might have installed, um, it might be, you might have not installed um, After Effects properly, but it will be there. So I'm just going to drag that on to the text number two, and right, I drag along. As you can see, it's breaking up here. So I'm just going to take it about half a second, and we can work with this. So what I did is I took the gravity force to 0.50. Um, I did the spinning to about 1.5. Um, the the direction randomness, you can just take that up. Um, I'll do mine to about 70. And the spinning randomness, I'm just going to choose that to about 40. Right, the grid spacing, we'll choose the size. So if you look, if I make this a a 2, it's literally literally just, that is proper, just, that is literally just um, turning into sort of dust. So I'm going to make this about 16. Uh, that'll look alright, you can choose what you want mess around with these. So now if I play this, um, as you can see it breaks up in a totally random way like it would be. Um, I think it's just the spinning I think it's just direction random which is a bit too much. I'm just going to take this down to about 40 watch this now. Um, should be good. Yeah, that, that looks more like a, a an explosion, a, a break. So the way I set it out is what, I've, what you want to do now is you want to drag the first text over the top and um, you're going to make it viewable. And with the breaking text here, I'm going to drag it down to about two, two and a half seconds. So now we have the normal one on top. 
and then it will get all the way to the braking part but to see that um, you'll want to get the end of the first braking text and you're going to drag that right down here so making sure it is in line so that is perfectly in line so now if we watch as you can see it explodes and I coloured these in so on the actual number two just going to drag it so you can see it breaking up I'm going to go to effect I'm going to choose generate and I'm going to choose fill and I made the colour uh, a light blue turquoisey colour so like that she's okay and then I went to effect um, stylize and I choose glow and I made it just that um, you can maybe take it up to about two if you want um, depending on how much you want it to glow that's all you need to do to that so there's the glow there's, there's my the smart the the blue coming out smashing up does look a lot better when it's um, loaded um, and then on the breaking text I gave it a, a sort of a grey and white so if you choose effect making sure you're on the one that you want to colour um, effect generate and I chose ramp and as you see it comes like this the black to white um, on the black I'm going to choose it to a dark grey so we have this nice greater white now that looks really nice so now if I just play this over and over again um, let's just take it to about there if you choose this this will play it and just show you sort of rendering if you know what I mean oh, it's just sort of makes you can see you can see it fine so now if we play this um, it's nearly there there we are you have the text and then the text breaks up and that that's literally it um, at the start of this one, I did um, I did an um, sort of a uh, a fade in. And the way we can do that is if you choose the first one. So this is the second where it breaks up. This is the first. If you go on this arrow here, and you want to go to effects. No, sorry, transform, and you'll see opacity. And if I choose the stopwatch at the start, making sure I'm at no seconds. And I'm going to choose this to be naught, so the apart, so you can't see it, and just less than half, yeah, just a little bit less than half a second. And we're going to make this a hundred. So now we have it slowly fade in, well, fast fade in. If you have a quick fade in there, it'll go down, showing whatever yours will be your YouTube name, and then it'll smash up. Um, I think that's all really I've needed to cover in this. Afterwards, once you've got your, you know, this is how you want it to be. You're going to go to composition and add to render queue a lot of people think you go to file export no you don't do that that does not make it um, good so once you choose it to the render queue you want to send this to wherever you want and hit render it will render this and once it is finished it, that will be done um, yeah so that's the tutorial guys hope you like this one I um, hope you subscribe um, rate this thumbs it up thanks guys